Guys, welcome back to the shop. Buried amongst the builders here on the hoists and some of the service work. I got the 36 Dodge here that you guys may have seen in a few of my other videos, but what the heck is in my lens there? That you may have seen in some of my other videos, but um, it's looking a little different now. The chassis is all done up. Um, did that over the last couple, well, probably the last couple weeks, I actually got all that done and started framing out my floors and everything, but she is starting to look pretty darn good. It's going to be rat rod style, got some really nice suspension like some of the ones I put in in my other videos like Project Hank and all that, independent coil over, set up front and back, big rake on this one, it's not going to get painted, it's going to be a rat, has rear fenders that we're going to cut out for the big tires, but there were no front fenders with the car and we're going to run it fenderless. Going to end up doing some side pipes and stainless down the side here off these fender well headers, um, but that's all in the future. For today, I'll show you guys how far I got in here. I got my firewall done, uh, clutch and brake pedal put in, I got to get a throttle pedal yet. Um, most of this stuff is in the works somewhere in between of being welded up and ground on my floor pans. I uh, got my shifter tower here, some parts cut, nice, my boot and my ring and stuff. Probably going to start off with that today and get that fabbed into the floor here. Um, moving to the back, everything's pretty much sheet metaled up to the trunk section. Body's tied off um, here at the pillars all the way around in the front. And uh, a couple other things, I guess I got the column mocked up here. Still going to make a column drop for that, but I did get these... Uh, these French buckets in here made all those up kind of the same way we're going to do the shifter tower but made those up and put them in and we're going to run some gauges in here uh, quad gauge and a big speedo out of a you know like 50 Chevy pickup truck so that's what the dash is all set up for there uh, just got my gas tank welded up too and before I put the gas tank in and then finish off the floor pan here I need to finish tying off my floor framing here off to the wheel wells and probably get these tied in and and put some eighth inch material in here and weld them off but as you can see there's some Swiss cheese holes here on that side and definitely over here on this side so this is kind of where I stopped the other day I haven't touched this thing in about three or four days kind of stopped here because at this point now I need to cut the sheet metal out in the wheel wells replace that and then put my eighth inch in here to tie this to the body and then get my sheet metal over the top so order of business for today Gonna weld up that shifter tower and try to get that mocked into the floor. And uh, probably pull these back wheels off so I don't screw them all up. Cut all this stuff out, weld some tin in there, and get the rest of this tied in. At that point, I can put my fuel tank in and finish off the floors here. Once that section's finished off, I'm gonna have uh, quite a few days of work trying to remake all this stuff here. We're pretty rotten in the back. You can see through, and these lips need to be redone here. So we'll be. Uh, Shearing some 18 gauge and running it through the shrinker and stretcher getting all this stuff rebuilt and uh, Like I said, this is going to be a rat rod But some of this stuff we decided we're going to hammer out the dents and just replace the bottom edge here because I already caught myself on that a few times and wrecked a pair of jeans or two So I'm gonna get some of that stuff fixed up But just maybe black it out kind of try to make it match the body or just let it rust on its own um, Other than that we're gonna leave the body the way it is like I said before so uh with that being said, I'm going to go grab that shifter tower over there, get it on the table, start welding that up. We'll put that in first and then uh, come back here and start doing this. wraps up the shifter tower for now it turned out pretty good had to go down here and put a little miter cut on the bottom to bring it back into the tunnel uh, mostly because of this bolt hole otherwise I would have just welded it off to the floor pan and uh, I'm pretty close might have to take a couple threads off my new bolts but uh, I'm gonna end up using pan head or uh, 
round head um, Allen bolts anyway for the floor pans in here once we get that far, but turned out pretty good. Going to move on to the back here and start patching up some of these holes in the inner inner wheel well section so we can finish tying this framework off to the car. Alright guys, well the passenger side is all welded up now, turned out pretty good. Got everything tied in here, left my tail a little long on the bottom there so I can bring the rocker in once the fender's on and I see where I need to be. All that's done up, gonna move over to the driver's side, make some templates here and do the same over here. And then we can get inside and start tying the rest of that floor framing into the quarters. And then get the gas tank and the floor pan in. Well that is working pretty good. I got my filler panels cut for both sides here now to connect my floor framing out to the quarter on my new tin that I had put in. And this side's working pretty good. Got it welded up most of the way. Got my braces also welded in. You can see that one's welded all the way around. And this one here I didn't start on quite yet so I'll get over here and we'll finish welding all this stuff up and then move on to the gas tank. All right, well that pretty much wraps up the trunk floor and all the side panels and everything. Got everything patched up. The floor framing is attached off to the quarters here on both sides. Got the floor pan bead rolled. All my holes plasma cut in there for plug welding it down. And a coat of flat black paint on the bottom of that and this just for where it pinches together. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is actually, the next thing I wanna do is put the gas tank in. But when I put the gas tank in, you'll also notice I don't have a filler neck on the thing yet. And that's because I want to put the fender on to see where that's actually going to come out. The filler neck was on the driver's side fender here. So we're going to get the fenders hammered out a little bit and cut some, cut some stuff off the bottom. They're kind of mutilated on the bottom edges there and stuff. And get those mounted back on the car. And also at the same time, make up a jig that we can bolt on the rear end and mark out the cut on the fender so we can get those big fat wheels stuck under those things. So I'm going to pull them out. We'll hammer them out a little bit, get them on the car and go from there.
fenders on now all hammered out and bolted on the car and we're pretty much ready to make up a jig here and start marking these out so we can trim out for the big tires but before I do that I'm gonna put the gas tank in this thing kinda got it laid out over here where I'm gonna shoot the filler neck through the frame I know the frames kinda skinny over here in this area but it's gonna work out the best coming straight out here and then coming up with a 90 over to my filler so what I'm probably going to do is just hole saw that, sleeve it, and then box the inside to get some strength back here. There's really nothing on the back side of the car except the bumper anyway, but uh, we'll add a little cap on that when we're done. So i got to transfer it over on the tank here. Obviously you can see I played around with that a little. got to transfer it over here. We're going to put our filler over here about a half inch down from the top of the tank so it shoots through the center of the rail. And i got some measurements here written down for a couple of bars to come up that I'll weld on the bottom of this brace and on the back over here and then we'll bend up some horseshoe straps to hold the fuel tank in the car so I'm gonna drop this thing back out uh, get the ascending unit in it and we'll make some straps to put it back in Alright guys, so let's do a little recap here. I got my straps bent up now, got my cross members made that are going to get welded to the floor structure in the car, and got my carriage bolts welded on the inside, ends capped, and the holes capped where I inserted the carriage bolts down in here. Um, so that's pretty much ready to go in the car. I'm going to take a two and a quarter inch hole saw here quick and buzz through the frame over there somewhere, right there where that mark is, for our filler, and then we can put this thing in, tack these to the floor structure, and then get the floor pan in this thing. Just gonna wrap up the gas tank now. Got everything welded in on the top side where I need to, um, mostly because once the floor pan goes in, I'll never be able to get to that again. So I got everything up top in, uh, welded in, everything centered out, and I'm ready to go. Got just enough room down here so my studs not hitting the floor for my sending unit, and my fittings for my feet and my vent should both be on the side of the tube. So I think we're pretty good. Filler neck came out pretty good with that hole over there. I guess we'll throw the floor pan in and get that nailed in here right away and wrap up that section of it.
All right, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for the trunk floors for now. Everything's spot welded in. I got everything hammered down right, um, nice and tied in on the outsides. Might lay a few more beads on this uh, to connect the pan to my welds here, too. Maybe, maybe not. And then afterwards, you end up seam sealing all this stuff anyway to kind of hide it and blend it in. So we're pretty much all wrapped up there. And off camera, I got the tires back on the car. And honestly, there really wasn't much trimming there. Um, a little bit at the front right there. And we're going to end up probably modifying that body line to just kind of blend it out and cheat it. So you kind of don't see it like that. We're going to probably get the gap from the back the same on the front. And then we'll, we'll work that body line out a little bit like that. The tire is centered 100% where it was originally on the chassis. And a lot of times, these older cars, it was offset a little bit. It seemed like they were always kind of forward in the wheel wells. Chevys were kind of like that too. The, 48, 9, 47, stuff like that. They were always kind of a little bit forward. So we're going to save that for another video. We'll cheat that body line out and make it look nice. And as for now, that is pretty much going to be it for this time around. I'm going to get this video edited and send it out to you guys. And next time we come back, we're probably going to end up fixing all this tin work on the back and carry it up and get those lowers down here, these rockers fixed up. And once all that stuff's done in the rear of the car, we'll move on and mount the front end and get all that stuff going. And once that stuff's done, like I said, we're not touching this body. <clears throat> we're going to blow the thing all apart, spray the bottom inside in the chassis, get it all back together and start wiring this bad boy. So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.